Many people associate animals with cute, friendly, innocent creatures. Every kid gets asked about their favorite animal. Sure, they can be soft and cuddly, but when you get into the deep depths of the wilderness, you find a lot of mysterious beasts lurking around every corner. These are the monsters under your bed, but every creepy creature has a story to tell, and today, that's exactly what you'll be hearing about. You must have heard of the fact that scientists have explored the moon more than they've explored the ocean. There are plenty of reasons for that. The craziest is that the moon is actually easier to get to than the bottom of the ocean. There's also a lot of surface to cover when going to the depths. So, with all of that unexplored terrain, there's bound to be some alien life in our own backyard. Luckily, scientists have already uncovered a plethora of horrific sea life that we can still shriek at. So, let's take a look at the oarfish. This fish is long and creepy. This isn't your average black bass. The oarfish can grow to be up to 11 meters or 36 feet long. Imagine diving down under the ocean and bumping into something that's as long as that. Put three of them together and they'll be longer than a basketball court. But it's not just their length that's terrifying. An oarfish swims vertically, in case you wanted that image in mind. To really sell you on how scary these fish can be, many people believe oarfish to be a symbol of doom. That's because they tend to surface once tectonic plates start to shift under the ocean. So if you see an oarfish, start preparing for a tsunami. Oarfish live at around 1,000 meters or about 3,300 feet deep below the surface. So seeing them near the shore is not normal by any means. Beware this creepy fish, because it's often an arbinger of certain disaster. Coming up a bit higher in the ocean, we have the wolf fish. These fish are named after their sharp teeth. Wolf fish have frontal canines, flat teeth in the back of their mouth, and most terrifyingly, sharp and serrated teeth in their throat to help digest the sharp shells that they consume. The wolffish lives at depths of about 500 meters or 1600 feet. So what's with the horror movie teeth? Well, these fish eat invertebrates with hard shells. They'll munch on sea urchins, crabs, mussels, and whelks. It's a good thing that they live deep underwater. You wouldn't want to hear the aggressive crunching from the wolffish. You may have unlocked a new fear of getting nibbled on by these fish, but worry not. The wolffish is mostly a stationary fish. Once it finds a suitable home in the water, it'll rarely leave that area. This is due to the fact that wolffish do not have pectoral fins that allow other fish to swim around swiftly. In fact, the wolffish is quite a weak swimmer, but what it lacks in normal fish activities, it makes up for in, well, scary fish activities. Don't mean to jump scare you with this one. But what you're looking at is the marine hatchetfish. It may be small, but bump into it in the dark depths of the ocean and you better believe you'll get the heebie-jeebies. This creature has wide eyes and a gaping mouth, not unlike the monsters you see in horror movies. Living at 1500 meters or about 5000 feet below the surface, the hatchetfish has bioluminescent traits that help it to hunt and stay alive in a place that's so dark. This fish can regulate its bioluminescence so that it can focus on things that are nearby or far away. Its eyes are also a big help. I mean, with eyes that big and horrifying, you'd hope they'd be useful. The hatchetfish can find camouflaged prey in the murky waters around it, thanks to its large pupils and sensitive eyes. While they look like they could strike fear into the hearts of many, there's not much us humans need to worry about, as these hatchetfish mostly feed on zooplankton and fish larvae. Thank goodness for that! From the oceans to the lands, we are at no shortage of nightmarish animals. To those that fear reptiles, avert your gaze now. But to those that are morbidly curious, listen up. This is the crocodile monitor. Much like other monitor lizards, this reptile looks straight out of the age of dinosaurs. Monitors are the only lizards to have a forked tongue, 
so looking like a snake already makes them scary to many people. But this creature also has flat and serrated teeth, allowing them to slice through the meat of any prey that gets in their way. Just in case that wasn't scary enough, you might be horrified to learn that crocodile monitors are arboreal, meaning they can live up in the trees. We've come a long way from the deep depths of the ocean here. This lifestyle also calls for them to develop special skills. What kind of skills, you ask? Well, sometimes the crocodile monitor needs to bring its food up into the trees. And to do that, it needs to have a great grip. So, they use their sharp teeth to hold their prey in their mouth as they climb up and down these trees. Sheesh, wouldn't want to see that on a hike. Turtles can look intimidating at times, right? Snapping turtles don't exactly come across as friendly beings. But what if they got even scarier than that? Meet the Mata Mata. This turtle is one of the largest freshwater turtles around. It makes snapping turtles look like cuddly friends. The Mata Mata looks covered in armor, and this appearance helps them camouflage themselves in the wild. Their shells are covered in bumps that are called tubercles. They also have a long snout and a wide mouth. Why do they look like this? Well, it's evolutionary. You see, the Mata Mata is carnivorous and feeds on small fish and invertebrates living in the waters of South America. These nocturnal predators still need to protect themselves from any other hungry animal in the area. When you look like a decaying piece of wood, you can feel safe knowing that other animals won't see you as a delicious snack. In addition to that, algae and weeds can also grow on the Mata Mata, further cementing its unappetizing appearance. Oh, and don't judge them too quickly. Female Mata Matas can actually find these decaying looks to be attractive and are more willing to mate with the grosser Mata Matas. Bats come in all shapes and sizes, and sometimes those sizes are so big, they need to be labeled as a Mega Bat. Here we have one of those Mega Bats. This is the Hammer-Headed Bat. It can grow to have a wingspan of 1 meter or about 3 feet. Not only are they big, but they're also fast. They can fly at speeds of up to 96 kilometers per hour or about 60 miles per hour. Imagine looking up and seeing a giant bat flying at highway speeds. They're the third largest bat species and have a face you can't exactly describe as friendly. They also have quite a ferocious mating call. When mating, male bats will form groups and let out a creepy croak. Female hammer-headed bats will then choose which male is worthy of her attention. They're much more than their croaks, though. Hammer-headed bats have also shown researchers that they can have personalities that differ from bat to bat. Some hammer-headed bats are more docile, while others can be grumpy and aggressive. If you see one of these beasts soaring around the skies at night, you better hope that you're visited by one of the calmer ones. Now, introducing the menacing, the elusive, the terror-inducing shoebill. Look at this bird and tell me you aren't at least a little bit terrified. One look at this thing and you start to understand its name. It's got a shoe-shaped beak. This bird looks straight out of a history book. It looks ancient, beautiful, but not in an adorable way. Their beak may look blunt, but just to let you know, it is razor sharp. With this beak, the shoebill is easily able to decapitate their prey. To add on to the ever-growing list of scary shoebill traits, this bird also sounds super threatening. Listen to the sound they make when clattering their beaks. Many equate the sound to a machine gun, but you can also say it sounds like the droning noise of, let's get out of here. Not only can you be intimidated by this bird's horrific clattering, you can also get intimidated by its intense stare. These birds are known to stare at water for hours. They can also go a long time without blinking. They'll stand motionless like this, while waiting for prey to cross paths with its monster-like glare. Imagine being the fish on the receiving end of this death stare. Being this scary looking has its rewards though. This technique can land the shoebill a delicious catch after all those hours of waiting. Moving on, 
let's check out the Lobster Moth Caterpillar. The moths themselves aren't too bad, but before their elegant metamorphosis, these creepy crawlies look like they're an alien spawn. You can see why they're named after a lobster. Their segmented bodies resemble a sea creature. Now, it's not just all about looks. This odd caterpillar has a few tricks up its sleeve. The lobster moth caterpillar can shoot formic acid as a way to defend themselves. This is the same acid that's found in ant venom, so you know it's gonna sting. An acid shooting, lobster looking bug? Yeah, I'll pass. Are you ready for something really scary? If you were able to withstand all the other animals, you must be able to take on this boss level animal. You know how spiders are creepy. We also learned that sea creatures can be creepy too. Well, what happens when you combine the two? You get the Japanese spider crab. There are 60,000 species of crustaceans on Earth, and the Japanese spider crab has earned the title of the largest of them all. This crab can get to be about 4 meters or 12.5 feet from the tip of one claw to the other. Larger than the tallest human, these crabs can definitely give you a spook. They can live at depths as deep as 500 meters or just over 1,600 feet. The good thing about these terrifying crabs is that they don't move very fast. They don't even hunt. They would rather scavenge for dead animals and plant matter. So at least we won't have to worry about them attacking us anytime soon. But that doesn't stop them from creeping into our nightmares. Down below the ocean and up in the trees, there are plenty of scary animals out there. Some are harmless and others are not so harmless. So keep an eye out. You never know when you're about to get scared by an animal you never knew existed.